week. They're going to be the hardest, right? You're most definitely going to see legs on the catch next week. Let's review, shall we? Okay, the more review, the better. So remember I was trying to tell you, we can step closer if you want, or can you see okay? I don't want to get in front of anyone. People can get around you. Yes, yeah, so if you need to move around, that's fine. So remember, I encourage you to do it by um, chunk. So if we look at the superficial muscles first, right? We have sartorius and gracilis. Remember? Sartorius, gracilis. What muscle group is under the sartorius? Quad. So if you know where you are, it makes your life so much easier. So memorize it in chunks. Okay, superficial, sartorius, gracilis. Under the sartorius are the quads. Once you know where you are, life is much easier, right? So once we know they're the quads, the middle quad muscle is the? Rectus femoris, vastus medialis, vastus lateralis. What is the tiny muscle, the pocket muscle? Tensor fasciolata, small muscle with a long tendon. Okay? Then we have underneath the gracilis is what muscle group? The groin. And we also see some hamstrings. It's about knowing where you are. If you just see it all at once, it's completely overwhelming. So try and use these tools next week, right? Try and just think about it. Okay, we have the sartorius gracilis. Under the sartorius are the quads, got it. Rectus femoris, vastus medialis, vastus lateralis, tensor fasciolata. If it's underneath the gracilis, then we index what I wrote on the board last week, remember? Underneath the gracilis, the highest one is the pectineus, adductor longus, actually, no, that's right, pectineus, adductor longus, cat muscle, semi-membranosus, semi-tendinosus. Knowing where you are. It's underneath the gracilis, just think back to that order. Pectineus, adductor longus, cat muscle, semi-membranosus, semi-tendinosus. Okay? The biceps femoris is just on the back here. So that really didn't require any dissection. So it's almost, it almost looks like the cat's butt. <laughs> biceps femoris. We did the calf muscles, right? Mm -hmm. This is the gastrocnemius. Underneath the gastrocnemius is the soleus. Okay? Good. So today we're doing chest and arm. Now, for the chest, listen up. You don't have to do any dissecting. This morning someone already cut too deep. This side is done, this side isn't. So all you gotta do is, if there's fat, pull it off, right? Or you can do the point and spread, whatever. So just pull off that fat. It's slippery. Yeah. Yeah. I was telling, what was it this group I was telling? No, it wasn't. Yeah. Yeah, that one that carries around my wallet. Yes. yes. I wanna have something bad to eat. Yeah, of course, myself. Okay. <laughs> okay. Once you after a few days would be enough to make you mad. <laughs> Probably. I don't know though. I really like sweet. <laughs> so once you peel off any fat, you're just gonna want to look for these natural separation lines. Like see right here. You're gonna have to force it a little bit. You don't need to spend an hour today doing that. Okay. Look for those areas of natural separation, and then just kind of force it. Like there was one here, so I literally cut it. There was one here, so I literally cut it, okay? So this is how it breaks down on the cat. The chest is a little bit different in the human and the cat. In the human, how was it? The outermost one is the pectoralis major, and then underneath it, pec minor. On the cat, it's different. On the cat, the more superior muscle is the pectoralis major. So between my fingers here, pectoralis major. And then below it is the pec minor. So instead of it being on top, like the human, 
One's more towards the head, pectoralis major. One's a little further down, pectoralis minor. That's it. That's all you need to do. If you see a pin here next week, pectoralis major. If you see a pin here next week, pectoralis minor. They have another muscle down here called the xypha humoralis, but that's a cat-only muscle. Pec major, pec minor. Okay? For the arm, there's a really thin muscle that you're going to have to tear off. So what I did is I came towards the elbow and I just pinched the connective tissue, made a little cut, and you just want to separate that out, and then I literally cut it off, and I peeled back this really thin muscle. Be careful because it's thin. This is a muscle we didn't cover, so don't worry about it. Once you peel that back, though, you'll expose the arm. So what muscle is this right here? Bicep. Bicep, Bicep break, yeah. It looks just yep. like Irish, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It's almost like the cat is flexing. <laughs> Totally. Biceps brachii. If you see a pin underneath that muscle, what muscle is it going to be? Brachialis. Brachialis. So you don't even have to dissect that. Just know, okay, biceps brachii, and if I see a pin next week underneath it, brachialis. Then the triceps is underneath here. Initially, it's going to be all together, but all you'll do is look for a little area of separation. This should separate more easily. So I found that, I used my fingers, and I separated it. So, triceps brachii lateral head, triceps brachii long head. I was saying that's the one that's kind of in the armpit. That helps me, okay? Triceps brachii lateral head, triceps brachii long head, the medial head. This one won't separate as easily, so you may have to force it. But that's okay. We want to make our lives easier for next week. This here would then be considered triceps brachii medial head. Medial head, long head, this whole thing is a long head, lateral head. Okay, I'm going to flip her over. All you have to do is just peel back any skin or fat that's there, and it's going to come right off, hopefully. But once you do that, you're going to expose the muscle. All we want to do is look for the separation between the trapezius and latissimus dorsi. I found it right here. So initially I just looked over here and saw a little white line. So I just do, 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 separated it out. But the cat's trapezius looks just like ours, right? The trapezius is going to run up like this. So if you see a pin next week here, trapezius. If you see a pin next week down here, Come on, say it. Latissimus dorsi. That's it. Trapezius latissimus dorsi. Okay? So the um, dissection won't take you as long today. More time to review. All right, great. Off you go.